question that I've been asked a hundred times, as if I can only really be one thing. What do you want to be when you grow up? And for me, for someone who had a lot of different interests, that was always a big kind of question in my mind, which is, okay, what, what do I want to be? Is there really only one thing that I can be? The older I got, the more fascinated I became with all the things that you could do with this computer. If I want to go and create something, I am gonna have to learn how to code. One of the most important lessons, which was how important it really is to get outside of my own comfort zone. Keep an open mind. There are opportunities all around you. And there was this repeating cycle that we found that was vital to our success. And it was this, try, fail, learn, repeat. And this was a question that I kind of struggled with myself now at this point, which was, what's next? I'm sure many of you have felt like this in your own careers. What's next? What else do I want to do? And so I went on a journey to try and figure out for myself what really I wanted to do. And one thing that was really, really interesting to me was that all of these young people that I was talking to at 20 years old had told me about multiple things that they had already explored throughout their younger years. And I became really fascinated with how this younger generation switched jobs. And I asked her and I said, Grandma, how did you choose what it is that you decided that you wanted to do throughout your career? And she came back to me and said, Stacy, there was really one way that I chose, which was I had to pay the bills to be able to provide for your dad and his two other brothers. And she was like, to do this, I worked one job my entire career. And then I went and I talked to my mom. And I asked, Mom, how did you choose what it is that you chose to do over the course of, of your career? And my mom said, well, you know, it started off that I wanted to do something that would be steady to pay the bills to raise you and your brother. And I worked two jobs. And then once you got, um, once you were born, Stacy, I took some time off to raise you and your brother while your dad worked and then went back into the workforce and this time, going back into the workforce, decided that I wanted to do something that I was more interested in, that I was really passionate about. And then I started talking to kids in my generation. And their careers were looking like this by the time they were 30 years old. And I said, you know, how is it that you're choosing to do what it is you want to do? And a lot of people came back to me and said, Stacy, I want to do things that pay the bills, but things that I'm really passionate about, and I don't care if I have to do three or four things of, the, of those at the same time, but I kind of want to do them all. I'm interested in a lot of different things. And I became really, really fascinated with this notion, and I realized that the way that we are working is changing. This young generation, more than anything, is interested in how they can make an impact and the things that they're passionate in when they're looking for making that next career move. Throughout the course of my career, there have been a lot of twists and turns, and I'm still young and still figuring it out, as a lot of my peers are. But one of the biggest things that I've learned about myself and about this generation is that there is truly not one thing to be when you grow up. In fact, it is an exploration of all the things that you want to be a part of, make an impact on, and put your name and your stamp of approval on during your time here on this planet.